Um, so everyone, uh, my name is Julius Wille4 aka Kaiser and Taurus and today I have here uh, a Q&A for you and I have a guest here in the studio. Say hello Rhyme. Hello, how's everybody doing? So we're going to do uh, a Q&A on my own Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge Hard Karma Run on day 2 Ayane. And since this is story mode you cannot choose your character. Um, Right now we're going to uh, have Rhyme uh, throwing some questions at me and I'll answer them completely. So, what do you want to ask? Okay. First I want you to explain these enemies for the fights you're using, some tricks to get them to do the steel on board. Um, um, the tricks that you can use to bait steel on bone is actually you either do uh, meditation, you don't have to do the full animation, or, um, more effective, you can delimb the enemies, which is guaranteed a red glowing attack. Now these kind of enemies, they have a uh, uh, steel on bone frequency of like, what, 85% uh, since I actually calculated that um, during some uh, karma runs that I did. But some other enemies have a, a lower frequency. These are the best enemies to bait and steal on bone. These are the best enemies indeed. Now as you can see, um, it's not only steal on bone, but it's also doing a full UT. And that is all dependent uh, on how high your Bloody Rage Karma multiplier actually is. And that's a huge change in Razor's Edge, which I actually pretty like much. So why don't you take out the rocket launchers first in a lot of these fights? Um, because when you do, when you kill the rocket launcher guys, they're normally one hit kill. And if you have your uh, Bloody Rage Karma Multiplier active, you can kill them as well. And then you can take them out with uh, an OT, which is also multiplied by the Bloody Rage Karma Multiplier and it gives you way much more points. Now I mostly do this at uh, the end of a fight because then uh, I have a stable Bloody Rage Karma Multiplier since the UT is ready it will be active for a lot lot longer. See right here um, I'm doing uh, the OT on the guy. Also and you're saving your UT for the next wave that's coming up. For the next wave of enemies that's coming up and it gives me a little bit more points. Now with these kind of uh, rocket launchers you have to be careful. Now you actually notice that a full UT is worth 1000 points. Now as you guys can see right here um, I actually OT to guy at the end because that's just a bonus OT. And 300 points can really make the difference between breaking your high score or actually losing points. Ion is really good for being able to OT after a UT. Now I messed up a bit here uh, because that sword guy stabbed me around. But these guys pretty much do their SOB grab also a lot. Now I got lucky here. Sorry? Do you have any specific keys? They tend to do a pretty fast steal on both. Um they can do it pretty fast, yeah. But you have to know when they're going to do it and when not. Now you see the reason why I waited for the moment, sometimes when you go just straight into the next fight um, the score isn't added to your uh, karma score. Now this here right here, this fight, um, it's uh, pretty obvious. Now I almost messed up that OT because I did the XY instead of just waiting for a half a second and then doing the Y. Now, normally to get a full UT ready, it takes about like 8 kills on hard, 7 on normal, 9 on master ninja, and 10 on ultimate ninja. Okay. Next question. Alright, pretty quickly, give me fighting some attack ninjas. What's uh, the combo that you're using to get them delayed? Um, you can use uh, YYYY, or you can use XXYYY, or XY. It's pretty effective. Now, mostly YYY it does the trick, because that's the combo that I use the most on them. Okay, so that's the combo that you're using for them? Now, 
I didn't use uh, the full UT directly on those tech ninjas but afterwards I actually noticed that I could have got a little bit more points with those but I think uh, right now if I would retry that I would get zero for clear today and that's exactly what I wanted to avoid to bait yeah now that's a messed up kill because uh, it didn't actually do the steal on bone but just do uh, a regular kill but I was able uh, to get uh, that rectified a little bit by using the uh, OT but I think it cost me quite a few points uh, right there you did a UT before you had a full 3.0 on your bloody ring yeah because I actually knew how many enemies there were and I was hoping to actually hit all of them in the same UT because Ayane you can get a minimum of three enemies but mostly if you're lucky you might be able to get five or six now this little segment right here um, that's a little bit messed up because uh, you have dogs and shield guys and the shield guys are not so tempted to do a, a steal on bone glowing attack because you need to unshield them actually but dogs they're such a pain in the butt to be honest now the best way to get the most points out of them is by either doing a full UT if you have it or charge your UT if you have no other enemies left because charging a UT actually grants you 100 points while doing a full UT gives you 10 times as much yeah to get the shield out of them, you just gotta do a heart attack. Yeah, to get the shield out, you do YY or YYY, uh, no matter how one you how you want to call it. And there's another steel on bone that I did, and another dog coming up. Do you have any specific combos that you like for the dogs? Um, XXYYY. That's the combo that I like the most. I hear you got them glitched. Does that happen often? Um, no pretty good idea you have coming up here to get the dog because otherwise you would have been ruined yeah now if you if you can if you get that uh, what I did actually um, it's very very good uh, very useful now, I think I messed up the next fight as well here I don't know now you see me sliding and uh, jumping into the other direction that that is actually also a very essential skill in uh, karma runs now this here I messed that up because I could have got at least 1000 points extra but for the rest uh, just kill the dogs if you can uh, make sure to kill him with a UT if you want to get more points out of them alright let's see your next question it's gonna be coming up but getting to the test of valor is a world yeah it's yeah it's very very hard um, the best character to do this with uh, is Kasumi because uh, she can war run a lot longer than uh, Ayane or Ryu. Oh, but take out the rocket launcher guys and if you go downstairs um, you kill those enemies by using a steel on bone attack and it will actually count towards your kill amount of enemies for the UT. Yep. But again said that's knowing the patterns of the enemies. And again here an extra OT. Um it's very useful. Now this right here, um I decided not to cut that out because uh I wanted to show it to you guys how hard it is. But I mostly do then the flying swallow in order to make sure that I can actually uh make that point. Now now this here, um I always mess that up always. Now I messed this up like what two or three times I guess but best character to get to that point is Kasumi again said now I tried a different strategy but uh, the wall run wasn't long enough God, I hate this part. yeah I hate it too get to the test of valor a big a pain the a terrible pita 
Now I was hoping I could actually uh, flying swallow my way onto it and messing that up is guaranteed if you do that. So do not do that. Want to get to the test of valor? Um, it might come up uh, in the next few seconds. I'm not sure. But this little first part is quite easy. No, it's not this one. Uh, I think it's the next. Position perfectly. You need to, yeah, yeah. Positioning is also very important in the game. Not controlling your character um, can be dangerous because you won't be able to get as many points as you would like. No, it's not this one. Uh, I think it's the next it's one. You, it's one where you take a few seconds and get your character in the right position. Yeah. Said again, positioning is so important. I cannot stress out how hard it is to get your character on the exact position that you need to get it in order to get to the point to get to the test of valor. Now, you actually noticed in the beginning that I changed the costume because the costume that uh, um, this is the yeah this is the point. Um, but you notice uh, this costume, um, I actually like that costume a lot more than the other one. Now here, here I actually made it to the point. And from then on, it's quite easy. Now for those guys that don't know, there are three silver scarabs in this entire day. So make sure not to forget them because uh, it's going to be bad if you forget one. Because it's going to cost you 5,000 points now. Um, I pretty much mess up on the test of valor a bit as well because uh, the enemies were not very cooperative. Especially the next wave. Yeah, next wave, dogs. Dogs are the worst enemy in the entire game because you cannot do steel on bone on these guys. Now for these shield guys, why don't you knock the shields off before you start doing these steel on bone chains? Um, because if you uh, get a shield guy in close proximity, um, and, you and you're busy with a steel on bone chain, it will take the shield guy along with them. If you have to hit him twice though, the first part you get the shield off, the second part you get the steel on bone. Not necessarily, because you can do it in one single move like I did with Ryu on day one. Let's see, when I've tried it, if I could do a single steel on bone, hit him once. Yeah. Knock the shield off, but I won't be able to finish the steel on bone. But now Indeed. A double. So yeah. Yeah. Most players see this indeed as two hits, two phases, but it's actually one phase because it's one enemy. Now, most karma runs, like on NGB or NG2, you use low-level weapons, except for uh, the Dragon Sword, where you need to upgrade to level three. But here on this game, you need to use fully upgraded weapons to get a maximum of points because not uh, hitting an enemy with a UT but not killing him won't grant you points. Only killing an enemy will grant you points. This is what I hate the most. Dogs. Um, because it's quite annoying. Now here I actually I use my projectiles in order to try to get the meditation but uh, I jumped away from an enemy that was doing his steel on bone grab. And the dogs, yeah, meditation. yeah, meditation and deal limp. Uh, tech ninjas, they're not so likely to do it. Now, I got, I got bitten here by a dog, and that's something that takes the most health away. I also notice you've done your UTs before your bloody range gets to three, because that looks like it's just about to go. Yes. You know how long it takes for that bloody rage to reset. Indeed. Yeah. It takes a, a little bit amount of time, but... but it's good it to know when that's about to go to zero, so you can use a UT if you have one charged. It actually does not go to zero, it actually goes back to one. Well, that's what I mean, yeah. It resets. It resets to one. And the maximum value it can reach is three. Now here, actually, uh, did uh, quite a clever move. Uh, by ninpoing the dogs, because they are one hit ninpo kill. Now, if you saw my uh, day one video, um, you actually noticed that I ninpoed the dogs as well using the true inferno. And 
it's quite it's quite annoying that uh, sometimes uh, you kill an enemy and then the bloody rage uh, has decreased already a bit and you lose a bit of points now I got grabbed here again by that stupid dog but good thing to know um, if you get bitten by a dog and you counter attack it it's instant kill for the dog Now here this combo was the X X Y Y Y Y combo. Which is a very powerful combo actually. Now here meditation uh, and this is something I messed up as well because I could have got um, at least nineteen hundred extra points. But this wave goes pretty well if I remember correctly. Not completely perfect, but it does go pretty good. Does Dila mean that imps increase the chance of doing the steel on bone grab, or doesn't it matter? Um, that doesn't matter. Um, the chances are the same. But if they deal, if you if you deal in then, um, they're more likely to do a suicide attack when you're not expected. Yeah. These guys have a very high rate of doing steel on bone attacks. A very yeah. Yeah, this is a, a messed up point as well because I got hit twice by a steel on bone grab because I couldn't even move. Now again, that soldier here, that attack that he was doing is actually another steel on bone uh, bait. Now here on the imps you cannot do uh, uh, an extra OT. Now when they're underground, they're more likely to do their steal on bone grab. Yep, that's a great way to bait them into it. Now this boss fight uh, goes pretty smooth, except for some points where I get hit by him, by that damn Zadonis. Now Zadonis is not as glitchy as uh, Marvis is on uh, the day four test of valor, but he can be a real pain in the butt. What's this long combo that he uses? Um, that's X X Y Y Y Y Y, I think. Which because up. um, but Zadonis has one huge weak point, that when he's about to do his uh, belly laser tag, this one, and you do uh, X X Y Y, you can actually paralyze him for a few seconds. Now there you got lucky. He tried to grab you at, during the middle of an iframe and right in the middle of your move. Indeed. That long move they have has several iframes, I've noticed. Indeed. X, and, y, y, y. and the iframes, they can help you enormously. Now, there's no more, there's no point actually to try to go again to the test of valor. Because um, this is the original way. Now make sure to grab the scarab first. Because you're going to end up in a lot of trouble if you don't grab the scarab first because the rocket launcher guys can hit you and you're guaranteed to lose a lot of points on time and uh, health. Now, I actually tried to get uh, the steel on bomb bait and there it is. But I only did it on two enemies because I was hoping to actually increase um, the bloody rage uh, karma multiplier in order to get a a bigger steel on bone score but actually that didn't matter because if I did that one first and then uh, hit the rocket launcher guys I would have got a little bit more points afterwards now hit these rocket launcher guys there and there now he hit that one and this here is one of my favorite moments because you have so many enemies and these soldiers they're so tempted to do it because they have a bloody rich uh, no blood rage, uh, a steel on bone uh, frequency of 85%. But these That's guys, like really yeah. I only end up just covered with blood. Yeah. But what surprises me most is at the end of this fight that you're going to see that uh, when we're here, um, there's another scarab actually on top, not going in the original direction. But I thought uh, 
I could uh, get even more enemies, but I only got three. So I think I should have continued here for at least four more enemies or a few more enemies, and I would have got more points. Yeah. Um, oh, bring it's hard to decide when to use your UT. Yeah. I actually used my UT a bit too early, and that costed me quite a lot of points. Now here you see Ayane is completely covered in blood, and he's still covered in blood even though the fight is over. Now don't forget, get the scarab over here, another 5,000 points, and watch this guys, watch this. Completely covered in blood and fully clean. That's why, that's why I actually love this costume, because if I did that with another costume, or the original one, I would have never cleaned my body, that body off. It's so useful actually to do. Now this is one more fight before the boss fight comes. Now there's one more thing you need to know about the test of valor. Um, every difficulty has a certain amount of enemies. And normal is 55, hard is 60. I think Master Ninja is 65 and uh, Ultimate Ninja is 70. I'm not completely sure because I just started playing Master Ninja. Really wish they had a kill on here. Yeah, that would have that would have been great. Really nice for Ninja guy in black. Yeah. The difference here with uh, Ninja guy in black is that Ninja guy in black uh, you have a counter and every enemy is worth a certain amount of points. Now here they are also worth a certain amount of points. And they actually took this over from Ninja Guy in 2. Yeah, Mr. Connor and Ninja Guy in 2. Test of Valor seemed really long. He didn't know how many enemies yeah. he had um, That is something you can count. Uh, uh, because count the boss actually also counts as an enemy. Now, we're here in the final final phase of the of the day. Now, mostly the strategy uh, for these guys is try to take them out with uh, charged UTs for uh, level 1 UTs. Or you can take them out, take their health away with a lot of Ninpo. Or you can just do the XXYYYY uh, combo due to its iframes. But I got caught in the middle of a combo here. Now, yeah. Now, if you're lucky... And there, you, you don't there, um, you take the arm off and you can do an extra OT on them. You can do this twice. And 600 bonus points will then come your way. Just chop this arm off and then chop this head off. Which is pretty badass from her. Now here, uh, I was a little bit afraid that he would uh, throw a ball in my direction. Now, that was it guys, um, this uh, day is over, um, we'll see how many points I got, uh, 960,959 points, which is uh, 57,000 points higher than the previous run, um, you don't see it, and the score between brackets, uh, the plus 150,000 is the uh, amount of points that I'm ahead. Um, this was Julius Ruler 4 and Rhyme. Thanks for having me on.